Hello and welcome to Lion's Den Tarot. My name is Camille and I would like to welcome you and thank you. I will be performing the weekly tarot for the sign of Gemini for the week of August 30th through September the 6th. Now, how I operate is this is just definitely an intuitive reading and it's based on the cards and I give some of my advice. Now, I would definitely say to you, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? I want you to know that the cards are basically based on you and your energies, okay? And it's what the angels and the gods are wanting you to know. So, Gemini, I want you to take a look at the cards. These are the Angel, angel Answers Oracle cards, okay? Take a look. Take a deep breath. Now I want you to, Gemini, think about what you want to know from your angels and from your guides. What are you seeking from them? What answers are you wanting them to let you know for this week? Let's get started. Angels, spirit guides, gods, and ancestors. What does the Gemini need to know this week? Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and gods. What does the Gemini need to know for this week? August the 30th to September the 6th. The Geminis, what do they need to know? Angels, gods, ancestors, and spirit guides, what answers do they need to see? you to know Gemini all right helpful people so there are some helpful people around you and the angels are saying take their help Gemini I know you guys may not like taking that help but the angels are telling you get the help I'll read the card so you can know exactly what they're saying but Get some help. There's people around you. Okay, they're ready, eager, and willing to help you, Gemini. All right, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, and God, give us some more guidance. Give us some more clarity for the Gemini for the week of August the 30th through September the 6th. Let's Gemini need to know for the week of August the 30th to September the 6th. Spirit guides and angels want you to know, Gemini. All right. So, your situation. The Ace of Wands. All right, Gemini. Starting off with Ace of Wands. Anything Ace to me is always good. And that's fire energy too, so. Your foundation. Ooh, the world. Okay. What's benefiting you this week? The hermits. All right. Gemini, time to go to self. Time to go into that self stealth mode. What's crowning you? It's the fool. All right. New beginnings on the horizon, maybe. Let's see. Let's see. And your outcome energy, Gemini, is... The Knight of Pentacles, all right, which is Earth energy. All right, so let's get to reading. 
So helpful people. The angels are telling you there's some helpful people around you, Gemini. You just got to ask for it. Let's just read it so you can exactly hear what they're saying. All right, Gemini. The angels are saying that this card indicates that it's time to expand your circle of friends. Or you may find yourself needing to do some professional networking. Make time to branch out in order to create the personal or career connections necessary to be happy and successful. So, yeah. So, you know, this card can also indicate that your situation requires to requires the input of those who can assist you in accomplishing the task before you. This may include professionals in fields related to your question or others who work for or around you. It can also include people in your personal life who have experience that would be useful. This card lets you know that someone will be entering your life soon who can help make your dreams come true. So Gemini, pretty much what I said, time to start asking for some help. So let's get to reading the tarot. Ace of Wands, which is fire energy. Like a bolt from the blue, this card is a zap of inspiration propelling you in the direction of a new or freshly febrezed dream. It seems your little engine is revving with potential right now. And here's your sign to act on that right away. New project, start it. New relationship, continue it. New revelations about the core of your identity, um, journal about it. Regardless of the specifics, Gemini, you're on the cusp of something exciting. But it's up to you to get yourself post-cusp. In the words of someone who isn't Gandhi, be the starting pistol you wish to hear in the world. Enter this race and you're sure to win. How about them odds? Affirmation. I say yes to the divine spark that sets me ablaze. And I carpe every damn dim. All right, Gemini. Hey, it's time to start some things now. Some people coming in your life. And you know, the Ace of Wands has said new relationships. That's what I heard. That's what I heard when it said it said start it. New relationship. Continue it. New project. You know, so hey, the world is next. And that's the end of the Arcana, the major Arcana. So you actually got three major Arcana and one minor Arcana. In your reading, Gemini, which is woof, okay? So something's coming to an end with this world. Let's read it. One of the most favorable cards in the tarot deck. This is a sign that you've completed a cycle in your life and can reap the rewards of a job well done. It's sort of like retirement, but for people of any age. And without the hassle of joint pain and reading glasses. What a gift. So wherever you are on your soul's continuing journey, relish this metaphorical rest stop and count the blessings around you. You won't need bifocals to see them, Gemini. But there's something kind of hot about a wiser, sager look, no. Affirmation. I accept, enjoy, and deserve all the abundance, the, not the world, the not the universe, the limitless multiverses bring to me. All right now. So you got the world, which is number 21. Look up the angel meaning number for number 21. And you also got the hermit, which we know that's self. That's, that's all to look into self. So let's go ahead and read the card. But look up that angel number meaning as well, Gemini number nine. So number nine and 21, look those up. It's more information the angels want you to know with your reading. All right, so the hermit. This curious character is a universal mascot of me time. Who knows what life has handed him? The important thing is he knows that the best way to deal is to retreat to a place of quiet reflection and fly solo for a bit. 
The Hermit encourages you to clear your social calendar and fill your time with meditation, walks through nature, and possibly some fervent journaling. A little chapter of solitude will reset your mind, open your heart, and if you're anything like this old soul, lead to some life-altering wisdom, Gemini. Dress code, long white beard and gnarled staff. The affirmation, I quiet my noisy mind and look within. To know myself is to realize I'm pretty okay with myself. All right, Gemini. That is what is benefiting you for this week. So the hermit, you know, it's, it's time to go into to some me time. So what's crowning you is the fool. Another major arcana book is the beginning. It's the beginning, beginning. The journey of the tarot begins with the fool. An optimistic risk taker with a boundless, unbreakable creative spirit likes freedom adventure, and fresh starts, dislikes, logic, rules, and other boring grown-up stuff. When the fool pulls up and honks his horn, you're being given a great opportunity. So abandon your fear and other limiting ideas, Gemini. Hop in the car and see where this delightfully naive ride takes you. Affirmation. I leap into the unknown with reckless abandon, trusting that a great new chapter is waiting to unfold. Reckless with reason. Let's not be crazy. We're all adults here. So, hey, <laughs> Gemini, it's right here in the cards, but let's go ahead with your outcome energy, which is the Knight of Pentacles. And that is Earth Energy, which is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn grounding. All right. So let's see what the night has to say to you. Hi ho, hi ho. This guy is all about work. And boy, is he good at it. He takes his job seriously. And you can rely on him to accomplish pretty much anything except sleeping in. His appearance might be telling you to focus hard on your responsibilities, Gemini, and handle whatever you need to handle on your personal chore wheel. As with all court cards, he might be representing an actual person in your life. If that's the case, know that this is a trustworthy, dependable soul who quite possibly has a touch of OCD. Maybe you can let the not annoying parts inspire you affirmation. I recognize the importance of a mature work ethic and I maturely accept all of my duties. Pound duties, pound poop, pound maturity. So Jim and I, look, it's time for you to, to start asking for help because you will need the help and it's okay. But also sometimes you just need, you know, fresh starts. Endings are great. New beginnings are wonderful. Take that risk. Go into yourself. Ask me, do I want to be happy? Is this making me happy? Because you are asking yourself that right now, Gemini. And what you're doing is making you unhappy. It's time to go ahead and take that risk. Leap of faith. Ask the people for help. Because the people that you need help from, I'm sure they'll be willing, more than willing to help you. All right. That's just my advice for me, Gemini. I want to thank you so much for coming to my channel. I want to thank you so much for bringing me your energy. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. So that way you can get notifications, hit that bell and come on back. I want to leave you with this, Gemini. Make sure that you go out and be a better version of what you want to see in this world. Get inspired, Gemini.